Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival, and last time we left off with a destroyed vehicle, and I told you I was going to build a new one and try to get a drill and stuff, and I did a little bit of work between then and now, and we have some progress made. So let me show you. Up here is my vehicle. So as you can see, this thing is pretty bare bones right now, but much bigger. It has a drill. It has a large wheels. It's got two headlights. Are they... Yeah, they're even. Um, and these side panels here, these are three durability. So they're a little bit better uh, than what I've been using. And also these things are even more, I forget how much durability they are. Do I have another one on me? I do not. Maybe it's in some of my inventory here. Yeah, here we go. These are six durability? So yeah, I put those near the wheel, the back wheels at least. Um, I don't have as much on the front wheels because my front wheels are the steering wheels and I don't want to interrupt the steering with these steering wheels. But this thing's pretty good and if I press the button here, you can see we turn the drill. I'm using my janky gas engine for that. But we definitely, we need a little bit more fuel I feel like. I've been crafting a lot of wood because I, I scavenged a ton of scrap wood and we just need... Uh, scrap wood to make wood so i've been increasing my wood count here so with the drill this is going to open up a whole new realm of possibility because we're going to be able to scavenge metal basically and the first thing i want to do is go out scavenge some metal uh some stone and then i want to make a resource collector which all it takes is this metal and then after we have the resource collector i'm going to make the refinery bot and then after we have the refinery bot i am going to make a mobile refinery vehicle and we're gonna go around and oh and i'm gonna make saw blades too we need saw blades as well so we're gonna go around we're gonna break rocks down we're gonna get metal we're gonna make saw blades we're gonna make resource collectors and we're gonna be a mobile refinery unit and it's gonna be amazing so let's check in here how many i have uh I'm, I'm running low on component parts i really need to find out a way to get more component parts and also i'm gonna make myself a lot more of these chests because I'm running out of space with all with the stuff I've been getting. I also have my bed on my vehicle, so if we die at, when we're out and about, we will be able to respawn right on it. But oh, can I make some? Uh, do I have more fuel ability? Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. All right, let's just have that going while we go out and find a rock. I have not. I say I saved this my first rock harvest for when I was recording. All right, here it goes. Oh oh, come on. You know what, I'm gonna go on the other side of this before I waste more fuel because uh, gravity is really affecting us here. And I'm gonna increase the speed of my engine. This is a really heavy vehicle, apparently. All right, here we go. I love that these little bushes, they are not collidable anymore. The ones that we would always get stuck in in creative mode, it seems like they don't actually collide anymore. All right, here we go. First drill. Come on. Um, there we go. I was like, is this not strong enough? There we go. Come on, Drill. You can do it. You can do it. This is actually not as easy as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little bit more immediate. Man, even these things need to be drilled? Wow. How much do these have to break down? This is way more tedious than I expected. Um, am I too... Is this thing too high now? Alright, hold on. Let's turn that off for a sec. Let's go after this one now. Alright, that one's breaking down a little bit more. There we go. Now we finally have our first metal or stone rod. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Maybe I need an electric engine for this. This doesn't seem very good with the gas engine. All right, I'm just going to break this down as much as I can into the smaller pieces, and then we'll worry about the ones that are floating around. All right, hold on a sec. It's getting nighttime now, too. Bad timing. Can I pick these up? I can't pick these up. Can I break these down with my hammer? Okay, at least I can do that, and then I can go ahead and put these on the side of our vehicle. Alright, so let's do this then. I don't even remember if I have crops, to be honest. Because this is going to, it's going to be a little bit more time consuming than if I had a nice drill that worked for this. But the benefit of this is I'm not using any uh, gas to do this. Alright, how about now? How about now? Big hit. Oh no! <laughs> okay, that was a little bit excessive. I'm sorry. I'm very, this is my first time, okay? I'm very bad. Oh, I can't. Oh. Oh, that's bad. Apparently, you cannot lift your vehicle up when there are these types of resources attached to it. That, uh, that changes some things. Alright, we can do this. 
I just want you to flip. There we go. There we go. We did it. We did it. There we go. There we go. Now we're getting some progress. All right, come on. Keep it going. Keep it going. Get through this rock. Get through the rock. All right, that's decent enough, I think. All right, it's almost midnight, so I'm going to go check on my farm because I think it's almost time for a raid, and I forget if there's a raid due tonight. I don't have the raid countdown timer, but that doesn't always mean that we're going to not get raided. So, oh yeah, look at this. Yeah, we are definitely, yeah, we're, we're definitely ready for a raid. All right, man, look at this fortification. It's doing so much, it's looking so much better now. So much better. I want to get more of these ceiling pieces from those um, places, those huts that are around. All right, we're definitely going to get raided. I don't know what level raid this is going to be. I actually forget the last raid. And it is midnight. Here we go. It's happening. Oh, boy. Four? Five. Oh, and a haybot. And a haybot. All right, come on. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. What are you doing? He's being weird. Don't be weird. Just come after me like a normal haybot. There we go. There we go. Um, hold on. This one over here is not coming after me yet. All right, everyone come after me. Everyone come after me. This is good. This is good. All right, that was fine. That worked out great. By the way, how you guys liking the new farm, huh? Is this looking good or what? We can now finally see inside because of all these lights that I've uh, put up. All right, let's plant some more uh, carrots and beets. I prob- oh, I'm actually- I, I kind of wanted to skip a night, but I already started planting. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and roll with it then. Alright, farm's all planted. Let's head back and finish scavenging these, uh, rods. So, it looks like- I didn't see this at night, but some of the rods are specifically metal, and some of them are specifically, uh, stone. I thought that maybe the stone rods just give you both stone and metal, but nope. Just learned something new. All right, I've harvested pretty much the whole thing. There's this one corner left, but I don't think it's worth the gas, to be honest. I just want to head back. Our vehicle is so heavy now that it uses a ton of gas. I really want to upgrade my engine. Oh, oh, we have another metal rod. I definitely want that. Definitely want this. Uh, I want to upgrade my engine for sure so that it'll be more efficient. All right, so, oh, we can just refine right off of our vehicle. This is amazing. So I'm just going to use these to try to get enough to build a resource collector and then try to uh, then build a refinery and see if we can have all of this happening at once. Maybe I don't even have to do the stone manually by myself. Okay, so I did all the metal and it looks like from that one node, I got 90 metal. Could have been 100 if I got that last thing. So we only need 30 to craft a single resource collector. So here we go. Oh, I should probably, actually, I want to see this happen. What happens if it falls on top of this guy? Resource collector. There we go. All right. So now what happens if I put a resource? Oh, it's uh, it's full already. Yeah, resource collector is now full. I might need two. Wait, what does it take though to build a refinery? I can build a re. Oh, I have just enough. <gasps> this is gonna be so good. Oh, look at all this fuel I got now. That's excellent. I forgot I did that. Um, we just need our. We need five of these. All right, ready, ready. Here we go. Refinery bar. Oh, wait, what happened to my... Oh, I was like, what happened to my steel? But it took it to make the refinery bot. I thought that was before I clicked the button. All right, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, so good. So good. Now, do we have enough room to place both of these back here? All right, I'm putting the refinery bot right here. Yes, the output goes right there. I think that's the output. Refinery output. Oh, it tells me. That is really convenient. Which means I can take this and I can place it right here. It's working! Now all I need is a chest to collect all the refinery stuff. A large chest. We need more metal. Alright, what a good is the stone though? What do we make with the stone? So the stone can make some concrete. Oh, that's actually, we need water and chemicals to make concrete. What else can I make with stone? Yeah, like I don't see any anything useful for making stone other than to make better concrete. Like that's all that it seems to be useful for. Oh, it can make sand. Oh, and then you need sand to make glass. Okay, so stone is the basic building block for glass. Oh, all right, now it makes more sense. 
why it's useful. Okay, let's go get some more. And uh, this should be much easier because I won't have to manually pick up and place all of the individual things. I think if we just drive near it on our left side, we should actually be able to pick up all the pillars off of the ground. So let's find some more stone. All right, here we go. Engine is upgraded to level three. So we should have some more efficiency now. So let's see how it goes. Look at the, listen to that. Listen to that engine now. Look at it too. All right, awesome. Oh, I should watch where I'm going, huh? I'm already out of fuel. Are you serious right now? I see it. Let's see how much fuel we use from right where I put the fuel in to right over here. All right, I'm just gonna get out right here. I was at 10. And now I'm at seven. That took three fuel just to go that distance. All right, I'm seeing some limitations now with the weight. And it's gonna take a lot just to uh, drive into this thing too. Oh no, I'm getting attacked. Stop. Did he destroy something? I hope he didn't destroy anything. Everything looks good. All right, let's keep, I'm gonna keep chunking away at some of this stuff. Make it a little bit smaller. Electric engine might be a good thing to- Oh, and I'm out of fuel already. Man, this is- This is really rough on the fuel. The drill's doing fine on fuel, but uh, not so much- Not so much the wheels. Oh, no, 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 no. My, uh, my farm's gonna get attacked. I don't even know where it is. I'm not getting a raid timer anymore. I don't know why. So I'm gonna leave this area and head back to the- f Oh, no, the timer- Oh, I made a mistake. Don't worry, I have more defenses now. Wait, where'd the timer go? The timer's gone. I think it's this way though. Oh, I'm out of fuel. I'm out of fuel. Come on, come on. I'm getting attacked right now. This is happening. I'm gonna miss all of that stuff that I just, if I can't find my way back here. All right, come on, come on. Please make it. Please make it. Don't crash. I see, I saw farm bots. I see farm bots. No, I said don't crash. Go, go, go. That's not a farm bot. That's the debris from a farm bot. I'll pick that up over here. Ready? There we go. I just picked it up. Ow, ow, ow. Is it getting attacked? It's getting attacked. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Slow down. Don't, don't die. Don't die. Come after me. Come after me. Please after me. Not after my vehicle though. Nobody go after my vehicle, please. All right, these guys are going after it. All right, come on. Get off of it. Get off of it. Get off of it. Get off of it. Come after me. Come on. Stop! No! Leave it alone! What is that noise? What is that noise? Oh, my drill is still on. That My drill was on that whole time. Hold on. How's the gas doing on the drill? Still nine! The drill is so efficient! Alright, um... That was extremely stressful. But... My new defenses held up really well, as you can see. All that really happened was just a little bit of damage on this side, a little bit of wood damage. So I'm gonna start patching the damage up with uh, slightly more durable wood. So there you go, you do damage, it's gonna come back stronger. That's how this is gonna roll, farm bots. But I'm gonna try my best to get back to where I came from, get the resources that I've been working on, and uh, come back. What I'm thinking is, it might not be worth it to have a mobile refine bot, because the refine bot might be so heavy compared to even just like the resource collector. So it might be just worth it. I'm out of fuel already. This is... Yeah, I'm gonna go drop off. I I'm gonna waste all of my fuel if I keep doing this. So I'm just gonna go drop off the refine bot because I think it's way too heavy for our vehicle. All right, so now I have some more metal. So I'm gonna build another resource collector and we're gonna put two resource collectors on our vehicle. There we go, another resource collector coming in, and then with the craft bot, I'm gonna build some more small storage. I don't have enough, Never mind. we need to get more metal. Wait, what do we need for one of these? More metal as well, and more component parts. Okay, that's gonna be difficult. So this is what I'm thinking for the drill, is I think my resource collectors need to be right near the drill, like this. This is gonna be a very strange vehicle, but I honestly think that this is the best way to do it because then the rods that fall in front of my vehicle should get immediately picked up into these. And here, I'm going to make it so that I can see through them ahead of me. Just like that. Look at that. 
perfect field of view. Actually, it's not too bad. All right, I'm gonna go get some more oil from the water. We can see if um, the clams and stuff have respawned already from the last episode. Then I need a lot more fuel so we can go out. Oh, all my crops are done again. Looks like I gotta do this too. I gotta re- No, I'm not gonna re-farm tonight. I'm not gonna re-farm tonight. I'm just gonna leave that. We're gonna take a break from the farming so we don't have an attack. Actually, I think we're still gonna have an attack tonight, but then the next night I'm not gonna do it. Oh, and question answered about the uh, the clams. They have respawned and the oil has respawned. So this is great. I got as much as I could until my inventory was full, spent all day doing it, as you can see by the sunset currently happening. And I, got, I, I had some time to think out there and I think I've thought of a strategy on how vehicles should be working. I think there's two different types of vehicles currently that uh, we should, that I should be focusing on creating. So basically the one that I just made is a mining vehicle. It has the drill on the front, we'll put saws on it too. It has the resource collectors, but this should not be our loot vehicle. The one that we go out, oh, I don't even have enough to pick that up right now. Here, I'll just put it on my shoulder. But if I wanna go out and get component parts by looting warehouses and things like that, then what needs to happen is I need a vehicle that's really quick and efficient on fuel and has loot chests on it. The resource collecting vehicle doesn't really need loot chests because we're not looting, we're just collecting the rods that get put into these resource collectors. But if I'm going to loot warehouses, I need the small chests. So those are the two types of vehicles I think that we should be building. Oh, and by the way, uh, between the last and this episode, I upgraded my crap bot to level three. And it still says these two slots unlock at level three. I'm pretty sure it's just a typo and this is supposed to be level four. All right, I have the crafting bot crafting a whole bunch of loot and we're about to get attacked again, so let's get ready. I don't even think I have anything on this plot, so that actually concerns me. Are they still gonna target the plot if there's no crops actually here? The timer's here, so I'm thinking yes. Let's see what happens. All right, we got, oh, we, this is a bigger, this is a bigger swarm. Ow, okay, he got me. Oh, this is, oh no, oh no, 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 they're gonna get me, they're gonna get me. Go, 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 run, 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 run. Okay, all right, is anything attacking my... Nope, they're all going after me. Uh, I'm okay with that. All right, here, somebody get distracted by that, please. Ow, if I take one more hit, I'm dead. Here, let's go to water. Oh, no, 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 they're going after my base. Look at how many there are. There's so many. There's so many. There is so many. All right, what about if I eat? Ah, no, no, no. Oh, that was close. That was close. If they hit me right there. If they hit me right there. Is someone attacking? <gasps> There's a farm bot on the other side! Are there four farm bots? This is the biggest raid ever! Oh, there are four hay bots! I am going to die! This is bad. This is really bad. Uh... Oh, that only did that to one. Oh, this is so bad. That did nothing. That didn't really help me at all, did it? I'm dead. I'm dead. We're respawning. All right. Do they, do they, are they still all there? They're still all attacking. What do I do? Oh, they're gonna, just, they're just destroying my base for nothing. It's all for nothing because there's nothing even in there. They're just getting rid of all of my materials. I think if I die again, I'll lose all this. So I'm just gonna take it all. Come on. Did I, did I not take the, all right. Oh my goodness. I can't, I can't dodge these guys good enough. Okay. They broke through all of the armor that I scavenged. Ow! Alright, now they're all dead. Well, that did a lot of damage. So I'm gonna use this and reinforce everything, I guess. So I'm just gonna reinforce everything with this uh, next tier wood. Oh man, look at this side. This side is so patchy. Alright, good thing I had all this wood. I'm gonna run out of some of it though. Uh, this is the same durability, the net block, so I'm also just gonna fill it in with net block. It's looking okay. It's still looking pretty good. I think we're all right. So I'm not gonna farm tonight, and hopefully that'll allow us to not have to deal with the raid. That's even more frustrating. The, the most damage the raid has ever done to my plot is when I didn't even have crops to protect. That's just like a slap in the face. Oh yeah, look at all this fuel. Lots of fuel. Really good for this vehicle here. And presumably this vehicle is going to be using a lot less fuel too, because it is a lot lighter without that refinery on it. 
All right, let's go out and try to get some more metal and let's keep an eye on the fuel consumption now without the uh, thing that we had on there, the resource uh, refiner. So we're starting with five fuel. So now I'm just gonna head back in this direction over here. I mean, I'm going much faster, it seems like, without the refinery on me. So I'm hoping that we're gonna just gonna use less fuel. All right, here we go. I see another one. How much fuel have we used so far? We've used two. That's still, that's still kind of chunky. All right, so now you see where I am? The rock is right there. So let's see how much fuel it takes us to use as we try to grind away at this rock. And hopefully it'll be easier to grind away because our vehicle is a lot lighter and we can push ourselves more into it. And then as these pieces hopefully get destroyed, look at that. Yeah, it's going right in. Everything's going to plan. We just can't refine it as we're out here, which is fine because our refinery should give us the pieces for when we're at our craft bot anyway, right? Look at this. This is actually going way smoother now. It is much easier now. But yeah, I do think electric engines are really suited for the drill. The gas slows down a lot. The electric engine's gonna have much more torque for this. Oh, no, 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 no. You get away, you get away right now. You get away right now. Oh boy. All right, you know, no, I'm just gonna watch this. There we go, into the refinery or the resource collector it goes this is so cool it's working and with my i put my drill lower as you can see so now i can do oh well now i can at least push the ones on the ground a little bit that's it's not working that great though they just like move around there we go come on drill 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 there we go all right how's my gas doing i had 10 now i have eight so much more efficient yep it's a bad idea to have a mobile refinery at least without like a level five engine all right, I feel like it'll actually go faster right now if I use my hammer on all these ones in the front. All right, I just finished. Look at what we've done. We've filled up both of them almost. We had one slot left. There would be two slots left if it wasn't for the hay bot. But let's check our fuel usage now on everything. So we're down to two on the main gas engine and we're down to seven. I haven't refilled this since I had the drill. This has been powering the drill the whole time. And that one is super, super efficient. Um, I mean, even being the scrap engine. All right, so let's refill this one and we'll head on back home now. All right, this is working out great. My vehicle drives great now. And let's see, what are we gonna do? Uh, so I think we just take this, place it right here. Oh, maybe it's gonna be right next to it. Oh, no, I have to take this out. There we go, now it's going. All right, we need another chest though. Wait, what is it gonna turn that into? It should just turn it into scrap metal, right? Yeah, there we go. All right, we need metal, but it, I don't know how to choose. Whoops. I don't know how to choose what it takes out of here. Because right now it's doing only stone. I want it to do metal because I don't want stone right now. Oh, here we go. All right, I know what to do. Here, we take this away. We take out the stone that it's harvesting. And then I can take a piece of metal out like that, put the metal in there and now place this next to it and it should prioritize the metal if there's a metal in the slot. Why isn't it taking more? Take more metal. Why not? Why are you doing stone? Why only stone? All right, so I have a bunch of stone, so I kind of want to build some concrete. Let's see, there's concrete durability five. Oh, that takes water and stuff too, though. I need to, I figured out that you can also craft the water with just water and it, it doesn't even give you anything else. I'm gonna craft a bunch more water buckets because uh, crafting water is important. And if we can bring a bunch of water buckets back, here we go. Yeah, we're just gonna craft a whole bunch. If we bring a bunch of water buckets back, then that means that we can craft a bunch of these, which means we can craft a bunch of concrete because we have a bunch of chemicals. And this concrete is what I'm gonna use to build a scout vehicle or a loot vehicle rather. All right, so while that's uh, refining the metal, uh, it's almost midnight again. I don't know, since I didn't farm, I don't know if this is the night where we do or don't get attacked. All right, three seconds, two, one. All right, everything looks clear. I have a bunch of buckets now. So with all these buckets, what I'm gonna do is grab a bunch of water, like a whole bunch of water. And I heard about a little life hack. If you jump in the water and you scroll through, they all get instantly filled just like that. All right, I'm gonna take a janky seat here. And this is what we're gonna be using to start building our concrete vehicle. 
and I also need, where do I put my wheels? I think my wheels are in here. Here we go. One, two, three, four wheels. Guys, I, I needed some, oh yes, this is all I needed. I, I just needed some more oil. Oh, there's a gold one. <gasps> Whoa, garment box. Oh no. Oh no, I'm dying. I might actually die. I was, t oh no, I might actually die. I cannot believe this. I got so distracted by the amazing loot. What happens? I eat. Do I get health? I don't. I'm gonna die right here. Oh man. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Oh no, does my loot. Alright, my loot chest is there. Okay. I can still get it. Oh, that scared me. I didn't know what happens if you die underwater. I didn't know if it was any different. But I needed oil um, because in order to make a scout vehicle, I need an engine. So I was missing some oil. So I'm like, I might as well get some oil while I'm crafting some other stuff. And found that cave. And the only other thing I needed for the engine was another component part. So I'm like, ah, oh, how am I going to get a component part? And in this cave just happened to be a component part. So that's going to be awesome. But um, I ended up dying because I got so distracted by all that. All right. Yes. Yes. Here we go. But the garment bag, that's new. That's new for me. All right. What does it say? What does it say? Use it in a dress spot to make new clothes. All right. We're not really at dress spot level yet. And let me... Oh, the sun's coming down. <gasps> let me uh, get some air first before I go back in this cave to get the other loot. All right. Another component part, please. Yes. And I'm not that big on paint right now. We should be able to craft... I've been crafting sand this whole time, but we should be able to add another engine to the queue. And this engine is going to be for a scout vehicle. And check it out. This is the scout vehicle I'm building. I used all of the concrete I had. All right, engine is crafted. We can put the engine right there. This is a level one engine right now. We definitely need to upgrade it. And actually, I think it should be rear wheel drive. Oh no, we're gonna get attacked. We're gonna get attacked. I can't finish my vehicle right now. We're gonna get attacked. Three seconds. Here it goes, here it goes. What's it gonna be? So we had a night of nothing, and now is our first night after having a night of nothing. Let's see what the wave is like. Last time we had like four farm bots and like five of these little guys and it was too intense and now we have just two wow okay so it looks like we have to do an every other night farming technique every other night we farm so tonight is fine is everything all good everything is all good look at that perfect so now we do not farm tonight and i'm hoping that we don't have a raid tomorrow night all right, so it's not much, but what do you guys think about this for our scout vehicle so far? This thing has four chests on it, which uh, four chests is a lot of loot. So we can carry a lot with this and I wanted these to be facing outwards. So I think if we just use this, uh, let's see how max engine speed does. Oh, go forward, please. How does it handle? All right, this thing handles great so far. So yeah, why don't we go and try to get some component pieces? All right, I really hope I don't get lost because there's like, there's no map. So this one does not have a bed on it, I just realized, but that's fine. We don't need a bed on this. I'm just gonna actually, I actually have food now and I think I can survive. Whoa, what is going on? There's a lot of bots just in this general direction. Ow, he hit me. Whoa, whoa, I just bounced off one behind me. He came out of nowhere. Did he drop something? I don't think so. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, okay, a circuit board. I'm not that big on circuit boards. I have a lot of circuit boards right now. All right, how are we doing on fuel? Oh, it's not that great. If I get enough component pieces when I'm out, I'm going to upgrade this engine at least once. Then we'll get four-wheel drive too and be a little bit more efficient. All right, ooh, here we go. This is what I'm talking about right here. I don't know if I've been here or not, but I am now. So let's check it out. Oh, I'm just noticing giant warehouse over there. Uh, not supposed to go there until the official release. Apparently the pre-release doesn't have the warehouses quite finished. So I'll, I'll ignore the, uh, the attractive candy over there. My game just crashed. This is my first time. Uh, that hasn't happened to me before. I hope that, I hope my game isn't broken in any way. All right, it looks like I'm back in the warehouse. Um, I may have lost a little bit of progress. Don't actually know. I came out here. I hit this hay. The hay isn't even there anymore. Okay, maybe I didn't lose any progress after all. Did you just hear that? That sounded like a gunshot. 
What? Is my vehicle okay? My vehicle looks fine. That... I'm worried about what that was. I feel like that's not supposed to be a noise that happens unless a bunch of collisions hap happened all at the same time somewhere. All right, um, hopefully nothing is broken in my game here. <gasps> another gold chest. Oh, another gar rare garment box. Ooh. Ooh. This is getting fun. All right, I think I've looted this place and we got about seven component parts from this place. So yeah, going out to loot. <laughs> Ow. So yeah, going out to loot and scavenge is can actually be pretty rewarding. All right, upgrade engine. Now we can make it all-wheel drive. Oh boy. <gasps> no, 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 don't go after me. No, this is bad, this is bad. Oh, it's the ragdoll issue again. I might, oh, if I die. If I die, I can't. Oh, uh, I can't get back here very easily. Please, please, let me get up. I can't believe that. They they need to fix that. That is not a fun experience. Just not being able to do anything when you're getting attacked. And this is a decent ways away. So I got to get in my other vehicle. No, I can't. Where is it? All the way back there. I think... I think I just got to walk it. Get it? Walk it? Haha, <laughs> walk it? <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, I made it back. I made it back. So, I'm going to get this up before he sees me. So after that experience, I honestly think bed car is the way to go because I would have just been <gasps> Go, go, go. Are you kidding me right now? Are you guys kidding me? Come on. Oh my god, just leave me alone, will you? What did I miss? What did I miss? Here we go. Alright. My vehicle's still okay, so that's good. Whoa, he just did a stab attack. Yes, a component kit. All right, that was kind of worth it. Huh. All right, bed car. How am I going to fit a bed on this thing, though? <laughs> All right, we're heading back now. Pretty fast rate, too. We should be home in no time. I really need suspension, but suspension is expensive. I don't know what the materials are. I got to go check. All right, I got my bed. What if... What What if I do this? This, this I think this is actually going to work. Yeah, this actually, uh, this actually works. Look at that. There's my bed. So I sleep here, and now I should be able to respawn on this bed when I go out. Delete this seat, put the normal seat there. All right, chest is finished crafting, so I should be able to put it right here. And now things that are in here should go into there, right? But we don't have anything in there right now. Oh, there's some beeswax. <laughs> ah, it's happening again. I think it might be having something up in front of the seat makes it do that. So here, let me move these down. We'll do that. And now let's see what happens if I get out of my seat. See? Now, oh, that, that might be it. I may have just solved it. Or I may have just gotten lucky that time. All right, get our good old toilet seat out. So we can get some beeswax. All right, so maybe we will not ragdoll out of our vehicle if the front... Here, let's go fast. And then... Huh. That was the problem the whole time. Having anything above, like, one block in front of your seat is apparently bad for jumping out. Okay, I think we have problem solved now. We'll find out. Here, I'm going really, really fast and jump up! Oh! <laughs> okay, problem not solved. Problem... reduced? I don't know. <laughs> no, problem not solved. I was going slow that time. So there's an island over here. Why don't we swim over to the island? I've never been on a little island before. What if we built a base on an island? How hard would it be for the farm bots to attack, do you think? I don't think the hay bots could attack. There's definitely a benefit to that, but there's also the cost that uh, hay bots have the potential to drop uh, component kits. All right, is there even anything on the island? No. Nope, not really. Well, that was kind of pointless. All right, let's head back. Oh, no! 26 seconds! I can actually see the timer now. I think we can make it. We can make it in 20 seconds, right? Just don't jump out when we're moving. That's all I can do. All right, so we are getting raided for sure because there's a timer. And I did plant the crops, so it makes sense. Perfect timing. Look at that. Perfect. Absolutely perfect timing. Please don't attack my vehicle, anybody. 
Oh no. No, 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 no. Or I'm, I'm guarding my vehicle more than my crops right now. Come after me. Is it just the two? Oh yeah! <gasps> no! <laughs> he was totally gonna go after my vehicle. Oh, you're running away now. Yeah, you saw what I did to your pal. Alright, so yeah, because we skipped a night, that means that we didn't have to deal with a uh, bigger wave. And it's like just two of them each time. Are these all ready? They are not ready yet. All right, so that's good to know. We learned something about the waves. And now we have a bunch of corn for our cows. We got some beeswax for the other thing. Get this milk out of there. I can put this over with the other ones. Like, we got a lot of stuff. We got some we got some decent loot this time. I think next up is another metal run. All right, so this was a lot more grindy than the previous ones, uh, but we actually made some really good progress. We have two new vehicles now for two different purposes. We got our scavenging vehicle, which I still need to add saw blades to. What do I need for saw blades? Yeah, I, so we need to go on some metal resource scavenging uh, coming up. And we're gonna we're gonna fit this thing out to get some wood as well uh, with some saw blades. We got our scout vehicle, which is great for looting and going out and uh, just being maneuverable. So yeah, I think we're, we're getting more and more prepared for the long game here. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Keep in mind that uh, I'm usually about one video behind on the comments since I'm usually recording an episode ahead before one of my other episodes releases, so I don't get to see those comments that, uh, before I do this video. If you want to follow the entire series from the beginning up to now, then go ahead and check out this playlist on the end screen right here. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future episodes. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.